Alright guys, we're back for part two. Uh, now we're going to be installing the side skirts on the car. Uh, so let's get to it. So what I did is that I went to Lowe's and I got these screws. Um, yeah. I got these screws and some washers and we're gonna have about it's gonna be about five screws per side. If you guys wanna know these what type of screws I got, they're these. It will focus. Yeah, I got these at Lowe's. So yeah now we're gonna bring the car in, get it up on jacks and start the process. So usually you would put usually you would put the jacks here, right here, in the same spot on the other side over there. But since we're going to be working in this general area, um, we're going to need this spot open. So I put the jack stands on the secondary support part where you see the bars. <coughs> this bar that runs across, you can. Put your jacks on that and you won't have uh, any issues so now we can start working on the side skirts so now what i'm doing is that I'm taking this sharpie i'm going to be marking the holes that i'm going to use <coughs> to drill so i'm going to make sure everything is aligned so, I decided to do because it's going to move too much is that I'm going to mark the first two holes So I'm going to mark the first two. That way. That way I can drill them now and then bolt them up and it will hold the rest in place so I don't have to fidget too much. So now I'm using my Dremel and I'm going to drill the holes and hopefully everything goes on. This is something you don't want to mess up. Okay. Set the speed to 20. Okay, so that hurt. So now I'm gonna cover myself. I don't wanna get hurt again. That flying metal hurt. So I'm using the sheet now to cover myself. Now we can start putting the sights on. So like I said before, we're gonna put this, we'll put this through, and hopefully this covers it. Alright, 
Wow. We have two secure place. Now we can start marking the rest of the spots. Now that we have those two, we don't longer have to worry about alignment. <clears throat> okay, I just finished side one. Um, this is what it looks like, mounted on. Uh, notes. Just a couple things I want to say real quick. Um, number one. These particular side skirts did not fit. <clears throat> did not fit perfectly. These particular side skirts did not fit perfectly because back here, let's see if I can put some light. Oh shit. Okay. So back here. I don't know if you can see it, but this part right here, there used to be this thing. Now this is like a mud flap, I guess. It was in here like that, and it was it was preventing me from aligning it properly. So uh, what I did is I took a tiny screwdriver and I undid the three bolts that were here. Um, so I recommend Taking off the wheel, I did it the hard way. I use a, I use a wrench and, and a screwdriver bit to try to take it out. Uh, unless you have a very very small Phillips, I recommend taking off the entire wheel and then doing it like that. Uh, I still have to do the other side, but here's the finished passenger side and you can see like <clears throat> here's the shot from the bottom so in the bottom you can see put On the bottom you can see these these I put them I ended up putting them I put them all along where I had drilled. Now I recommend I recommend marking two so mark two spots and then drill them put screws through and then while the entire thing is on the line and the line uh, those two will help it from not falling off and when it's on I recommend drilling the rest of the holes that way you're 100% sure that um, that way you're 100% sure that you have the right markings and you don't accidentally drill where you don't need to be drilling so yeah so I'm gonna do the other side now and I will show you guys the finished product. I don't know if you can tell, but in my, uh, in my attempt to be lazy, I'm using this. I'm using this um, screwdriver bit and a wrench. Let me show you exactly what I'm doing. Putting the bit in and taking the back end of the rim. You see? Sometimes being lazy does pay off. At all because I don't want to take off the wheels. And we are done. This is the finished product. Size so skirts. Um, I need to go back to Lowe's. I need to pick up a couple more of those washers. Because uh, I lost one. <laughs> but yeah. These are size skirts. They're done. And 
that, my friends, is how you turn unpainted side skirts to pretty badass looking side skirts. And install. Alright guys, we are done. Um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope it was very informational. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, please like the video and if you want to see more, here's another video. And then also, if you didn't see the first part where we paint with the side skirts, here's that video right here. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Uh, can't wait to shoot the next video, so bye.